so she's filled up. We got you hooked up. Now we're heading to Long Beach. And, Please uh, drive to highlighted route. The sun is just starting to come up. I don't know if y'all can see that. You might be able to. In 300 Actually, feet, really pretty. turn left on Courtside Boulevard. All right. Turn left okay. on Courtside All right. Boulevard. Then take the first left. Someone, someone has some energy this morning. All right, well, we're going to get on the freeway and uh, we'll talk to you here in a bit. Coming up, we just crossed into California. We're over the Colorado River and uh, getting ready to drive through Blythe. But before we get into California officially, we have to come through the Agricultural Inspection Station where they basically ask you what do you have on your truck? Uh, sometimes they'll want to see your your invoice to see what is on the truck. More than, more more often than not, they just ask you. So funny story. A lot of my friends and family will tell you that I, I'm not the most coordinated human being on this planet by any means. Uh, so this morning. I I knocked my phone off the table. I bumped my monster energy drink off the table. I dropped you guys, I dropped the camera, and I dropped my GPS all this morning. Uh, so hopefully we got all my clumsiness out of the way for today. That would be great because I don't like to be clumsy while under an 80,000 pound vehicle. What is oh, he's actually checking the bills. I better get that ready. He's doing his job. I once drove by and there was this younger guy and he was literally just flicking through his phone, waving people by. I mean, it's kind of a silly inspection anyway, for the most part. Oh, he's pulling him over. He's pulling him over. Good. This Gordon trucking guy couldn't figure out. Oh, now he's waving me over. Recycling? Recycling stuff? We good? Yeah, it's just like cardboard. Yeah, alright. Thank you. Oh, this guy is, he's doing his job thoroughly today. Well, we made it to our destination. We are in Long Beach, California. 
at the port. Well, very near it, anyways. This is like uh, a district where all the port trailers, so all the big containers that go on those big ships, is where they get loaded. I think you saw that in the footage we were going by. I think maybe we could see over here. Can you see that? Way over there. Please. They stack these trailers really, really high. I'm looking for 16. This is a Gaylord. <laughs> and uh, basically, you know, they stack the trailers onto the, onto the big old transport ships and they go back and forth between all the other countries. But anyway, the first thing that I always do when I get back to California, and if you've never had it, in California is getting good old-fashioned Mexican food well it's not old-fashioned Mexican food if you've ever been to Mexico food is very different there but California Mexican food is the best version there is of Mexican food so we're going to a place called Alberta's never been to it um, so but I'm gonna get a more than likely either a California burrito or a big carne asada burrito because that's my favorite or carne asada fries if you've ever had if you have never had carne asada fries that is the best thing to try but we are in a really interesting district of Long Beach there's those ports again there uh, I'll be honest, I'm not too sure I fit in down here or should I be walking alone, but we'll see. We made it. I'm excited. I'm very hungry right now. So let's go ahead and check this place out. Yeah. that one right there super fries that's what we're gonna get it's right here it's right here oh my gosh okay so hot carrots you gotta have the hot carrots and then check this out check this out you ready look at that look at that deliciousness can you get in that get in that get in that look at that carne asada super fries that is what's going down So we're back into the dock. They called us early, about an hour early, so that's pretty cool. But we are definitely at the home of the garbage. Check that, check this out, check this out, check this out. Over there, there's a whole stack of it. And basically, what they're doing is they're offloading it onto me, and then I think they just moved it, but what they do is they'll put it right onto a container, a container like that. So, and they're pretty quick. Whoa, there we go. It can get bouncy for sure with them going in and out with each bale is, I, he said it was 2,100 pounds plus the weight of those little forklifts. They kind of like roll around. <laughs> I just hit you on the window. Um, like those um, those pit stop cars from, uh, from the movie Cars. It's kind of funny watching them like drive around and stuff. They, they're really good at what they do. That's for sure. It uh, takes a lot of talent and skill to be a forklift operator at a facility like this. Uh, so I'll probably be here for probably no more than like 25, 30 minutes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> That's crazy. Look at my antenna. My antenna is just like wobbling. And, uh, and then uh, head back to the the Fontana yard and then hang up the keys for the night at least possibly even tomorrow since it's the holiday a lot of places are going to be closed including the port so we'll see what goes from there talk to you later oh wait okay so okay, let me turn that off. Let me turn my truck off so we're finished uh unloading and he's like hey do you want to sweep it out and i was like well i'll do it later because i'm going to the yard and i can sweep out there 
Uh, then I realized I don't have my trash bags with me and I could just sweep it out onto the floor here. And I'm really glad that I went back there uh, because they probably left about 50 pounds of trash in this trailer. Now, and I feel really bad. I don't think, this is a 2016 trailer that I'm towing. So it's a newer one. It was manufactured May of this year. And it now is stained with not only the smell, but on the floor, there's garbage juice stains on the floor. So I swept it out, Woo. got my workout in for the day. Uh, now we're getting ready to head back to the yard. tight fit for trucks out here but I just wanted to show you real quick how tall they stack these uh, these containers let's see this one two three four five high just storing them you know just chilling all right let's get back to driving is that is that rain oh my goodness it's raining it's raining look at you you got all wet it's raining in southern california it's not supposed to do that that's okay they say rain is good luck on new year's right i don't know maybe they don't say that <laughs> oh shoot so we're back at the terminal and uh, we're all settled in for the night. Getting ready to ring in the new year. Oh, I'm like shaking you around. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, try to be more stable. I usually have you sat down, but I'm, I'm being lazy. So let's, we parked with the bobtails. Look at that. Like, can you see how, like, it's crazy. It's so packed here. I literally, <laughs> I had to I had to give somebody my empty trailer because they had to load to go pick up and so I could find a place to park because there's no open spots that's how packed it is for the New Year's so we're just chilling here for the night and then I'm really looking forward to putting this year in the books ended 2016 on a very positive note um, but I'm still very happy to see it gone and very looking forward to 2017 I have lots of plans. I have uh, lots of goals uh, and, and things I want to accomplish. I don't know if I would necessarily call them New Year's resolutions specifically, but I do have a list of goals for 2017. And I'm not trying to be cliche with that or anything. 
because some of the goals are going to take more than a year and we'll we'll do an episode we'll, on that where, where i talk about what my goals and why why i came into trucking and and uh what i want to accomplish while i am an over the road truck driver because being an over the road truck driver is truly a very big sacrifice uh you literally are home no more than three or four days a month uh, and that's if you come home that often i typically stay out anywhere from four to, to eight weeks at a time and i'll take three or four days off and every other day i'm running as you'll probably find out so i'm going to leave it on that note i want to wish all of you a very very happy new year i hope everything that you want to get done in this next year gets done and it is prosperous for you and everything works out you know the way you want it to <laughs> it won't oh man matthew don't be nice look now i'm talking to myself anyway i really do i really i really hope that everybody has has a good safe night tonight and and has a wonderful wonderful new year and uh we'll talk to you tomorrow